one five to the tiny seven. What do you got up there, Chief? I'm still in Boyd Fairway, 74th floor, no smoke or fire problem. The walls are breached, so be careful. Yeah, 10-4, I saw that on 68. All right, we're on 71, we're coming up behind you. 10-4, right, six more to go. Yeah, it's Let me know when you see fire. Yeah, now on 75. These are the emergency communications of the New York City Fire Department recorded on the morning of September 11, 2001. The countdown clock shows time remaining leading into the failure mode sequence. The audio evidence presented here will prove the following facts about the final 10 minutes of the South Tower. One, firemen were working throughout the building. Two, Battalion 7 had reached the 79th floor. 3. Battalion 15 had reached the 78th floor. 4. Battalion 7 Alpha had reached the 55th floor. 5. Rescue teams encountered only small, isolated pockets of fire. 6. Rescue operations were finding numerous wounded survivors. 7. The structure of the tower was not melted or deformed. 8. Rescue teams were climbing on uncompromised staircases. 9. Elevators were operational and in use up to the 40th floor. 15 to 15 OV. 15 OV. Tommy, have you made it back down to the lobby yet? The elevator screwed up. You can't move it? I don't want to get stuck in this shaft. With only nine minutes remaining, rescue operations have reached the 75th floor. Battalion 15 OV has signaled that it is trapped in a failed elevator. Injured people have been found on the 70th floor. The events documented by this audio tape take place within a hypothetical period, according to the official explanation, when raging office fires were in the process of completely destroying the entire structure of the building. On five to the tiny seven. The tiny seven. What floor you on, Oriel? The stairway on the 75. Go to the south stairway and continue up. 10 4. There were 236 steel columns along the perimeter of the building, and there were 47 central core columns. According to the government's NIST, the jet fuel burned off in the first 10 minutes after impact at 9.03 a.m. However, contrary to their final cause of collapse theory, the initial fuel explosion and subsequent internal fires had negligible effect on the structural integrity of the building. Even the relatively lightweight staircases remained intact. And thus far, no fires have been reported. Uh, 
of life remaining, these brave men, along with many others on that fateful day, served their fellow citizens in the highest possible capacity. They served us as heroes, but they were also victims. The South Tower collapsed suddenly at 9.59 a.m. By the evidence of these emergency communications, 
it is apparent that the supposed jet fuel office fire, said to have destroyed 110 stories of structural steel, was somehow insufficient to avert these rescue operations. Something doesn't add up. Either there were emergency teams operating in the building, or there was a tremendous inferno of sustained temperature as required to obliterate the strength of steel. The two possibilities are mutually exclusive. If you can understand the significance of this elementary evidence, it is now your responsibility to get involved. Become active in the pursuit of justice. Join our expanding worldwide movement to call for a new independent investigation.